the uh, Stomberg Ranch. Um, looking at some Pentec out here. So this is the outdoor area. <clears throat> um, have normal vehicle traffic on this, smaller tractors um, with the, the rubber wheels, not like a, uh, a link tractor that has the, um, uh, you know, the metal wheels on it. But this is the main area. Got some control joints here. There's some minor pitting like this and some cracks that we're going to have to fill prior. Um, uh, the control joints are, you know, like you said, like you can see here. Uh, there's a little pitting over there by the power washer, right in that general area there. These are drains, so we got to obviously protect these um, and go around them. Uh, so this area can all flow out to a septic tank. There's some more pitting around here that is all going to have to be, uh, you know, addressed too with some mender uh, before the pen tank goes down. Minor cracking here. So that's all have to be sealed up. Minor cracking here. That's going to have to be sealed up prior. Uh, I can see that. Otherwise, pretty straightforward. If we can, um, since this is used for, um, you know, kind of like a, uh, a skinning shed, um, if we can cover this, the, the least cracks the better, just for the blood and everything to get not get into. So if we can cover that wood piece, that would be great. It looks like it was just like a form or a mold for the slab. Um, but if we can cover that, that would be better because this whole thing gets washed out um, usually they just pressure wash it they don't use any kind of like acids or anything um, but uh, obviously the less the less cracks the less crevices the better this we're probably gonna have to fill in here all the way across looks like it's just a control joint of the you know where the slab was that's gonna all have to be filled up for the integrity of the product i'm guessing we have a drain right there and then here's the cooler so it's about 34, 35 inches wide, the opening, so we'll be able to get the grinder in there. Um, the brackets, we're gonna go around the brackets. So we'll have to use a hand grinder probably around those, but in the main floor, we'll be able to get the, the uh, pushing, uh, push grinder in here, the floor grinder. There's some pitting there, so that's all gonna have to be filled. Um, but really, this is just it's foot traffic. There's no vehicles or pallet jacks or anything else brought in here. And then again, we got the wide opening, wider than 30 inches to get our floor grinder in there. Um, that's what we're looking at here. And, and then back out to here. There is a little area over here. It's eight feet by two feet. We need to do that as well. So Johnny's going to have all this stuff moved out of here. We can take the sink out, okay? So the sink will be removed. Uh, the tables will be removed. <laughs> and basically, <clears throat> uh, again, when, when we show up, um, this will all be out of here. So Johnny will take care of that for us. Johnny's gonna stay down here while the crews do the work. There is a, I think, two bedroom, three bed, three bed apartment over here where they did offer for us to stay. So we're gonna go take a look at that now. Um, but that is definitely it uh, for us to use at our disposal. And uh, while the guys are doing it, you know, probably a good two day job anyways. Um, so that's it. Um, again, just some extra prep time, labor time. We're gonna need some extra mender for the cracking and the pitting. Um, but uh, that should all come out nicely when we're, uh, when we're done. There's some more pitting over here as well. You can see that right there. That's what we're looking at. Uh, so we're going to go check out the uh, living quarters right now and uh, uh, go from there.